This is called Curipod, and you can create lessons or slide decks, exit tickets, polls, questions instantly. So I'm actually going to click log in because I just created my account, but you can just click sign up and then you can log in with Google. And then you will be directed to the home page, which is where we just were. It looks a little different when you click on home. And I've been playing around with it a little bit, but um, just to give you a quick overview of the um, options. So you can actually click on discover to get an idea of the different types of um, tools and what they look like. You can click create lessons. And this is where you're going to decide what do you want this tool to do for you. So um, you could do a full lesson, the hook, discussion questions. So I think I'm going to do exit ticket just for this example. And um, I have a really fun activity on online scams, but I'm always looking for an exit ticket. So online scams, grade six. I'm actually going to include the learning objective for the lesson, identify common internet scams, and then I'm going to click do magic. And it takes just a minute or so for it to generate the exit ticket. So now you can see it looks a little bit like a Kahoot or um, a uh, look it in terms of you can invite the kids with the pin, which is up here. Um, but if I present this, it looks like this. And if I click on um, over here on the right, you can actually adjust how long you want this session to go. So maybe I want the last three minutes of class to be the exit ticket. What are some steps you can take to protect yourself from online scams? And the um, responses from students will appear as they would if you were watching them log into a Kahoot. So I'm gonna click here where it says, click here to let your students join. Now it does pull up this huge Not what I'm gonna have the kids use. I'm actually gonna have them focus on this, but I can make this larger or I can copy it. I guess I can't make it larger, but I can copy it. And then I could paste it into a Google Classroom. Then I'd see the list of kids as they join, and then I could click play. And then I'm gonna click play again, and it's gonna start that countdown. So you'll start to see the students' responses up on the screen. So you can also add um, time if you need to on the bottom right. Uh, but for now, I'm actually just gonna stop it. And then I'm gonna click results and I don't have any responses cause I'm doing this from home, but I'm gonna click end lesson. And now you can see, um, they'll give you some results here. You can click re view results in a different layout, but I'm just gonna show you now um, over underneath the home, you're gonna now have a list of all of the um, uh, materials you create. One of the things you should know is that you can only do five with the free account. So over here on the three dots, I'm actually gonna delete this one because I guess if you delete them, then it doesn't count as your five. Some will, will um, count as your, uh, as your total for the free version, even if you delete them. But this site does not, which is pretty cool. So again, back to create lessons, I can do, like I said, a mini project, brain break, I actually had a good time looking through the discover section to see what was already in there. I found some morning check-ins, um, some good things for advisory were in here. You can obviously, um, you can do uh, based on topic and they have some over here so far that you could sort by, or you could just go to, over to all. And this would just be all of the different examples that you have, but it, on, it honestly makes it for you so fast that it's kind of nice to see, um, what they come up with when you just generate a topic and put in an essential question or the standard you're trying to meet. So this is a really cool tool. I hope you find it helpful.